You're making a face. Does that mean you recorded? Of course. Nice. I'm going to start the timer. You heard a beat maybe there. Because <clears throat> Nikolai forgot his phone. Hello, I did. Welcome, everyone, all you people listening and watching and listening. You can't watch because there's no video. Welcome to the Brothers Game podcast, where we talk about rocks and metals and other geological trends. Brian, how are you? <laughs> are you just going to invent a new topic every episode? Sure. <laughs> It's what came to me. I mean, technically, they can watch uh, just a static icon of, if you of watch our on logo on there's YouTube. A, there's a real nice image on there of mm-hmm. our very cool logo. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Made it myself. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. We need intro music. I was going to talk about this outside of the podcast, <laughs> but I'm going to browse around some royalty-free music. And uh, okay, <laughs> I mean, if you find something good, I'm, I'm totally yeah. willing to throw it in there. But also, we've we've gone without it for so long; it would be kind of eh, weird. Only eleven episodes. Yeah. We're still new. That's fine. <laughs> anyway, what's up? How's uh, it going? You know, nice. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks guys for listening. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Very no. funny false ending. Uh, you've been playing anything? Um, just lots of Age of Empires. Still, yeah. Um, yeah. So there nice. are so many campaigns. I'm trying to just beat all the campaigns, and uh-huh. yeah, there's a lot of them. Uh, I'm I finished all the African campaigns. I'm going through the Asian campaigns. Uh, currently going through the Mongols. Nice. Um, which I haven't done for I don't know at least 15 years. <laughs> uh, when I played the original Age of Empires two. And, of course, I beat that one with cheats. This time I'm not... Uh, I haven't right. used a single cheat the whole time that I've played the game, which, like, you I know, used to only ever play, to play with it? cheats, yeah. but still. So it's it's very different. Um, you have to actually kind of be good at the game. <laughs> right, right. You have to, you know, play the game. That's interesting. I'm, I, I'm, I'm learning how to boom, uh, where it, you just, like, you make lots and lots of villagers and collect re- lots and lots of resources... And you get like ten thousand of each resource, and then you make mm-hmm. huge armies, and then you just go nice. slaughter your just enemy. Go. Yeah, interesting. Is that the strategy, basically? Well, sort of. Um, I never seem to make my military early enough. <laughs> so, like when me when me and Ben play against moderate computer players, I'm always like just about ready to start building my military, and then their and their, their army comes. shows up. So, Dang. like. I spend I spend the early game just collecting resources, which you are supposed to do. Like I've I've seen high level players playing. Uh, mm-hmm. Like I watched someone. I mean, obviously you need resources. Yeah, yeah. I've I watched someone playing against an extreme computer player, which mm-hmm. me and Ben just got totally destroyed by. <laughs> We we had beaten three moderate computer players. So we mm-hmm. were like, okay, if we can beat three of those, we can probably beat one and uh, uh, extreme, right? No. No, Not even close. Just demolished. Yeah. Uh, but I, I watched a guy 1v1 an extreme uh, CPU, and uh, he he does focus quite a bit on resources at hmm. first. Uh, interesting. It's always interesting when I, be quick, I guess. when I watch high-level players, uh, how calm they are and yeah. how unfazed by things they are. Like... I see an enemy in my base and I'm freaking you get, out. You I'm get like, stressed oh, out. No. Yeah. What? Uh, I need to do something right now. And they're just Understandable, like. Understandable. Yeah. They aren't ignoring it, but they're like, oh, and they're attacking me now. So I just need to do this and then it's that. Like, no big then, deal. And then they're gone and yeah. everything's fine. And sure, I lost three villagers and a couple houses and it's no big deal. And yeah, just what are you going to do? And yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're just so used to it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Yeah. I've never seen high level play of that before yeah so it, it's, it's, it's fascinating yeah um so like they they, they map everything to hotkeys because that's the only way right. you can really so go just fast like, tapping uh, doing just stuff like, like crazy yeah flailing around with the mouse yep. is just not gonna do it so uh <laughs> he'll have like three or four uh vi- uh town centers all creating villagers mm-hmm. and he'll I figured out what he's doing, but he did it so fast, I literally couldn't tell what he was doing nice. at first. Um, and he's hitting HQ, 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 HQ over and over again, which is bouncing between town centers and queuing up villagers. And wow. when you're watching it on YouTube, it just goes like, and it's over. Yeah. <laughs> he's got like five five more villagers queued up. Like, Jeez. how the hell did you do that? <laughs> Amazing. I, gu- I would guess that's probably a big part of it. 
his speed and mapping things yeah. and then perfectly uh, and stuff. a little bit of micro uh there's not nearly as much micro in age of empires as there is in some other rts games mm-hmm. where you've got like i don't know seven or eight probably groups of units that you're having to manage individually mm-hmm. this this one you can really usually go with just like two groups and if you can keep them both uh doing what they're supposed to be doing that's all the micro you usually need it's crazy how every sort of genre of gaming has their their high level people you know yeah. and how unique all the strategies have to be for each genre like i've seen a yeah. lot of you know high level fps players and stuff uh-huh. and they have their own lingo and their own like oh yeah it's all every game has like its own world it's it's a totally different mindset mm-hmm high level play in just about any game like you watch a high level tetris player or yeah. a, uh, it can be inhuman. a very it's simple inhuman. game yeah but yeah it's a and whole like, other world and then they use strategies where you're like that seems like a bad idea uh-huh that, that seems like a weird way to play and then all of a sudden it's like amazing and you're yeah. just like how weird how did you figure that out like mm-hmm. yeah so crazy same yeah, thing with speed runners yeah. watching them you know of platformers and stuff and sometimes like with, with games like halo it's it's often just this guy just has inhuman reflexes essentially. Right. like yep. he, he he knows how to tilt those control sticks just ever yeah. so slightly well enough uh, and better he can than tell you I can how many that, degrees like yeah. if you're two degrees off right here you're gonna die yeah but i can do it perfectly every time so uh, i'm the best basically and they're, and they're so, <laughs> accurate, so crazy so they can just they can have their sensitivity will just be to whatever is comfortable to them. Right. It could be as high as 10 or as low as two or whatever. Right. It totally and, depends on and they'll just headshot the every time. Yep. And it's just crazy. And then, and then <laughs> they get into, if you, when you get into that level, hardware becomes a real issue. Yeah. Right. Because I've heard it. I heard it from a lot of pro smash players, mm-hmm. which obviously I'm the farthest away from, and I'm not really interested in that yeah. community. Cause I mean, but, we've, we've all heard the blame the controller thing, yeah. but I think when you're with that, them, dialed in it's it's it extremely does matter. important yeah As, uh, like if it's if it's way off if there's a noticeable difference in how mm-hmm. the sticks move and how the buttons feel and i mean we can tell that when we you play usually feel it, non-nintendo yeah. branded controllers and how sometimes the button feel is mm-hmm. is different which doesn't affect us we're really low level right. players at most games but uh when you're uh, if uh, it yeah if your controller yeah. if like the board on the controller doesn't register that exact stick movement perfectly every time you can't use that controller uh-huh. if you're if you're on that level it's insane i even so i follow a bunch of like custom gamecube controller makers on twitter mm-hmm. just because i love the looks of them but they also get deep into like you know that that part of it yeah and they say like like pff, there's one thing where like pro uh gamecube smash controllers don't have a rumble feature period Oh yeah, they have no rumble mechanics inside because over time, rumbling in the controller can actually damage the board or uh-huh. like slightly make the stick off a little bit or anything like that. That, that honestly makes sense. Totally yeah. makes sense, right? But I would have never really thought about it uh, until I heard about it. So I thought that was interesting. Yeah. But yeah, all that's just really insane. Same thing with speedrunners. Not even yeah. just not just you know fighting game players, but yeah, so crazy. So. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, like, uh, what uh, an- another thing I noticed about high level a- uh, uh, Age of Empires players is mm-hmm. they um, they don't worry about everything being like really neat and orderly, which I kind of mm-hmm. do because I can I can have some OCD tendencies. Yeah. I'm not saying I have OCD. I'm just saying I have some tendencies mm-hmm. towards that. I, I I need things to be neat. OCPD a little more yeah. maybe, but yeah. But I mean, and I mean, like, it's not just that. Oh, I prefer things to be neat. Like, no, it literally bothers me, and I can like, actually truly, like have yeah. issues if it's not if there isn't some degree of order at yeah. least. Um, and the I could, sometimes they're just so messy, just everything everywhere. Well, but I'm sure they like don't have time. To yeah, clean exactly. It up, clean they're, it up, like, they're just moving fast. Yeah, like they don't have time to do screw that. Screw order and cleanliness. I need to move fast. Yeah. So yeah. And then they, because they know where everything is. Uh-huh. So even if it's not in order, I well, guess that works. Well, for and them. also like, if you have a hundred villagers and three of them aren't doing exactly what they should be doing right this second, it's not that big a deal. Yeah. yeah. Whereas when you only have like twelve, then it's a big deal. Yeah. Like you need to make sure all 12 of those villagers are doing, doing exactly, exactly what they yeah. should be doing. So, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I would guess high level uh, uh RTS, right? Yeah. RTS. High level RTS is probably pretty deep 
because you're dealing with hundreds of units mm -hmm. and stuff. The micromanaging is pretty insane on that. Yeah. It's not like, you know, pro Pokemon, for instance, yeah. where you have six Pokemon that all have four moves and that's it. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. That's, that's, as, that's as complicated as it gets. Mm -hmm. So that's interesting. Yeah. Never really even, never really thought about that. Mm. What I always loved too about uh, FPS, you know, we play a lot of Halo, yeah. is the is people's knowledge of like maps. Yeah. Uh, well, I think that's really cool. Yeah, like just even at you and uh, I's level, yeah. like we we, we got, had to know we where good. all the weapons were on the maps, yeah. or we were just going to get destroyed on Xbox. And that just Live. comes with practice. Yeah, that's just time playing the like game, friends of period. ours who would play with us and wonder how we yep. knew where everything was it was like dude if you don't know where everything is you're, screwed, you're yeah. just not gonna do well yeah <laughs> it's interesting but like i think most of the maps on like halo 3 because we played that multiplayer probably the most I at least so. together a little a little um, more than two, i know i did I for think. sure so uh but like i'd say almost all of those maps i could go around with my eyes closed probably yeah everything except maybe the like the new the last the couple of dlc ones. packs yeah. that came out near but the i mean end. like guardian and construct oh, or whatever i could yeah. yeah go go through those no problem at all yeah but did you have a personal favorite I'm just curious on Halo Three specifically. Well, now that I'm so thinking about it, when when they introduced Blackout, which was the mm -hmm. Halo Three version of I mean, Lockout, yeah, we love that Lockout, was my favorite so. because Lockout was my favorite Halo, Halo Two map. map so, Absolutely, yeah, yeah, that was up there for me too. So Halo Three specifically, then Any, yeah. anything um, in there? Gosh, I, I there was a little while where I was really annoyed by some of the maps. Oh, like, I know. I was. Yeah. I wound up playing on the no, pit sure. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's Pips the common. map I played on more than any other almost. Good map. And, well, there was a little while where I really hated it. Yeah. I just, I was on it too often, and I kept mm -hmm. losing. And yeah. so oh, yeah. that, was, that, was the, that was the problem. A losing streak on one map will ruin the map um, for you, maybe. I can't remember the name. It's not Guardian. Uh, that, that one was okay, but it was another smaller classic. one. Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of them. Yeah. It's was, got, like, multiple levels. It's got, like, the big elevator on one side. They all had an elevator on one side. Are oh, you talking about Construct? Construct, yes. Okay, yeah. well, I was going to say Construct, actually. Construct, so. that was another one I played on a lot that, that I think... That was my absolute favorite. I thought I so. had down pretty yeah. well at, some, at that a was certain e point. It's easily my favorite yeah. in Halo 3. I just really liked liked that map, mm -hmm. especially for just, like, Team Slayer was it was and Rumble Pit both. Just fantastic Slayer map. Oh, remember when you could, you could like, change the color scheme or something? I forget. You, yeah, it, it, on, like, there were the, little balls... That changed like the filter. Yeah, there was like a Sophia filter and like a black and white filter. Yeah, and so I used the yeah. black and white one on blackout and called it whiteout. So cool. That was a fun, fun way it was to play really that cool map. Really cool looking. Yeah, definitely. I think SWAT on blackout was just yeah. just amazing. Ugh. SWAT was always SWAT. Yeah. SWAT was my game absolutely mm -hmm. because I don't know about why like halo specifically i'm not good at headshotting in call of duty but in halo i'm very good at headshotting i was pretty decent so. with the battle rifle in particular yeah. yeah i was more of the dmr person yeah. later in halo 4 well least, in halo but. 2 the battle rifle was pretty good at both medium and yes. long range halo whereas 2 battle in rifle halo 3 amazing. there was a bigger distinction between the two with the dmr yeah. and the uh battle rifle mm -hmm. or no DMR was Halo, Halo Reach and, yeah. and later. I'm thinking yeah. about Halo 4 with yeah. that, but yeah. Because in Halo 3, it was the battle rifle, yeah. absolutely. Battle rifle all the way. Yeah. yeah. They brought back the assault rifle in Halo 3, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Though? Yeah. That's right. Which I thought... And the Magnum sucked, unfortunately. Yeah. In Halo 3. Well, and it's it was even worse in Halo 2. Like, in yeah. Halo 1, it was... Amazing. A, amazing. Yeah. And then in Halo 2, it was borderline unusable. And mm -hmm. then in Halo 3, it was... It was okay, yeah. Not great, but yeah. it was fine. Yep. Interesting. What was good at Halo 3 was the uh, the Needler. Oh, the Needler was... Absolutely insane. There were a couple... Uh, I actually took a little of, uh, a couple of little clips of gameplay where someone uh, just killed me with a Needler like three different times in ways that I felt shouldn't have been possible. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, this just is why the Needler is overpowered. Just ridiculous. <laughs> uh, it's, def times. it's a noob-friendly weapon. You can just pick it up and you just... Hold down the trigger until your enemy dies, and you just keep rinse and repeat. Yep. <laughs> Halo Two, it was not like that. Yeah. Even even when you were dual wielding, I feel like it took forever to dual kill. Dual wielding anything. needlers was pretty deadly, but yeah. I mean, you had to actually find two needlers, and uh -huh. then it, it was just a matter of like 
I, yeah, I didn't think the Needler was quite as overpowered in, in Halo not. 2 as it yeah. was in 3. Definitely not. Halo 2 has my favorite balance of weapons and everything. It's yeah, just it's just my good. favorite Halo game. Yeah. But uh, I always was so disappointed in the SMG. Yeah. In like every Halo game. <laughs> It's funny, I, I used the SMG liked a lot early on. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, cool, you can dual wield, you can do... And I used the SMG plasma rifle combo yeah. a lot. That's, uh, that's not I bad. really liked that yeah. because the plasma rifle would take down their shields and the SMG would just right. kill them after that. But uh, I got away from that in, in multiplayer when I realized the battle rifle was just the best weapon and there was no reason to use anything else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially plasma, pest, plasma pistol battle rifle. Mm-hmm. Plasma pistol battle rifle. Ho homing plasma Ridiculous. pistol. And then quick switch. One shot with one the headshot. battle rifle. Yeah, absolute All the time. destruction. Complete complete death. I got pretty decent at that com mm -hmm. particular combo mm -hmm. for a little while there. Is that the noob, noob combo? Yeah. What, what was the noob combo? I think combo? I called that the noob yeah. combo, yeah. I think that was like a, a I thing. I think a few people did, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which, it's funny because like, if you are a noob, you actually won't be able to pull that off all yeah, that well. Yeah, probably not, so. yeah. Like I know the, it does take some degree. The plasma of skill. pistol does home home yeah, in a does. little bit, but not great. It's still not yeah. you know super easy. And to I think aim in Halo Three it wasn't quite as severe. No, than not nearly, aim. not nearly as much. No, yeah. So we weren't planning on deep diving into Halo in this episode, but since yeah. it's coming up naturally, I mean, we could. We might as well. All right, because <laughs> we've already talked about a lot of what I wanted to talk about. So okay, so let's let's let's, let's take it go back. back. Let's go back. Let me uh, let me start to with the beginning. This, let's say Halo Combat Evolved. Our youth pastor. Yes. He him and his friend were big into Halo One. Mm -hmm. When Halo Two came out, they were like, "Okay, we're gonna do we're an event thing. for the youth group at church. <laughs> we're gonna have a Halo Two tournament. We're gonna get four so Xboxes cool. and connect uh, connect them all to land uh, to a pretty uh, cool land pretty cool youth and, youth church. Uh, <laughs> And have Halo 2 in each Xbox and just do a tournament. Yep. Now, before uh, uh, before that tournament, uh, my friend Ben mm -hmm. was uh, super excited about Halo 2 and yeah, was trying to get me for sure. into it. And he was like, look, you can dual wield it. So, like, which oh, I was crazy. like, You're like okay, what does that is, mean? Is that, is is that, that good? Like, not a normal thing? <laughs> is that good? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Had you ever played an FPS before ever? The... Technically, Jedi Starfighter was FPS. Okay. Yeah, sure. I uh, mean, it was first person perspective and it was a shooter. Yeah. You were in a, a but, starship. But, but yeah. you never played but that Quake. Was it. You've never played. I never played Doom Quake or Doom or, or Counter Strike or, or anything Call like of that. Duty yeah. or Ghost Recon or Perfect Rainbow Dark. Six or Perfect Dark, Perfect Dark or Goldeneye, even. Have yeah, you, not have even Goldeneye. Have you even at ever played point, Goldeneye? Yeah. yeah. So very new to FPS yep. in general interesting and uh so i invited ben to come to the tournament because mm -hmm. he was like super two. hyped about halo 2 i'm like well we're having a tournament so yeah. why don't you come down and play with us and so he's like all right i'm gonna teach you how to play halo and he proceeded <laughs> to just kill me over and over and over again it's like yeah. see isn't this fun and i'm, I'm like, teaching no. you no it's not but okay <laughs> you're learning yeah i did uh, i just it's probably obvious i did horrible in mm -hmm. the tournament but uh -huh. It was it was kind of fun. Yeah. Um. It was. It, it, it Gel was, was a cool game. <laughs> it was one of those. So like, just like with Smash, uh, I I just focused on just annoying the higher level players <laughs> in in the tournament. Like, oh, okay, he's That's good. Awesome. I'm just gonna be a real a yeah. total pain in the rear to him, so that he has a hard time winning. There you go. <laughs> That's the way to do it. So I was like, okay. A after that, I'm like, all right. I need an Xbox and I need Halo Two. <laughs> yep. And I need Xbox Live. And Let's I eventually got all those all those things. Now, did you get the Halo Xbox first? No. Like, was that your first Not Xbox? Not at first. I just oh, got okay. a regular old Xbox. Okay. I don't that remember a regular later. Xbox. I don't even remember that. Yeah, it was... Just uh, the, the regular black one. 2005. Yeah. Oh, speaking of my youth pastor. <laughs> it just bought something for the church. Anyway. going to cut that out? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, Brian got that out. Uh, I, I, I'm the audio guy, so he's <laughs> uh, just showing me new new audio gear. Um, okay. So yeah, uh, it was uh, I think for my birthday in 2005, yeah. uh, and I got 
I got the Xbox before I got the game and I didn't have any games for it at first. So I just had like an Xbox and a remote and I'm like, cool, I can't do anything with this, but <laughs> great. Uh, that's great. Perfect. <laughs> uh, so it could play cool. CDs. <laughs> that's true. That's Actually, true. I think, I think the first one could play DVDs. Could it? I think so. Not like HD DVD or Blu-ray, so. but it could play regular I DVDs. Think, I'm pretty sure. I think PlayStation was like the one that could do that. I don't know. Anyway, uh, whatever. Um, I knew it could play CDs because I actually yeah, did definitely. that at once or twice. Yeah. Um, and then I got Halo 2 and I got Xbox Live. And it's funny because uh, I remember parents at the time thought it was kind of expensive. And now I'm like, mm-hmm. dude, it was $50 for a year. Mm-hmm. That's dirt cheap. <laughs> <laughs> for real. But uh, and and also I, I played through the campaign a few times. And uh, I started out really bad at the (laughs) game. Uh, Getting used to... So up until that point, I had never used first-person controls really other Mm -hmm. than in Jedi Starfighter, and that was sort of kind of different. But the whole, like, the concept of strafing Mm -hmm. was totally new to me. Mm -hmm. I'd never done that. The two-stick. Yeah, using two sticks. uh, Doing one that moves you and one that moves your head. Mm -hmm. Had never done that before. Very confusing when you're first <laughs> getting mm-hmm. used to it. Because I in Nintendo in third person Nintendo action games, right. you you Very used different. one different. stick that moved yeah. your character, and when you turned uh, when you moved the stick to the right, your character turned to the right and moved to the right. Mm-hmm. Like you you always the Mario sixty four yeah. controls, yeah. Mm-hmm. And you might have a camera control also. Yeah, but it wasn't quite as quite like this. Yeah, even in GameCube yeah. era, it was kind of different. Like in but... PSO, you had the. the L button to put the camera behind you. Right, the snap. And, you know. Yeah. Which you had in like, you know, Ocarina of Time and stuff too. But yeah, yeah very different. And, uh, and yeah, so I was, I started out pretty bad and then <laughs> slowly over time playing on Xbox Live and just losing and, the, and, and the losing campaign and over and over and, over, and losing until I stopped losing so much. <laughs> pretty much. And I, I, I started to learn the maps. I started to learn, uh, the, weapons also i remember there was this big thing about like looking at it, playing split screen and mm-hmm. uh screen people looking. getting upset with it when you would look at their their portion of the screen call it screen looking and mm-hmm. like i was always of the opinion that i i don't think that it's wrong to do that interesting i i thought that was like we're playing on the same tv i can see your screen i don't see why i shouldn't use that to my advantage like I don't, I don't see how you you can't. It's kind of hard not to, right? To at least notice where the general area they're in or, or something. Yeah. Well, I mean, and that was yeah, it's that like was impossible. always a frustrating part, especially when you were playing like with a small number of people, was just finding your opponent. Yeah. sometimes because <laughs> if you didn't want to be found in that game, it was uh, depending on the number of players, it might be pretty easy to spots, hide, yeah. or at least not be found right Camp away for a little while. Yeah, I remember. Uh, so there's a few uh, interesting stories I've got. Uh, one of them was I was, a on a, Halo I was on a big Team Slayer game. It was like 15 versus 15, so a couple of fairly yeah, large that's teams. Big, yeah. And uh, at one point, every player on my team except me had left the game. And the enemy Jeez. team had like four players left. But my team was up one kill. And so I hid and they didn't find me He's for a camped. while. It wasn't until the last like 30 seconds that someone found me and was oh, able to pick me off. Dang it. But yeah, I was like, oh, I'm going to win it for the I team. Can make it. I can make I it. I almost did. It was so close. Dang. Team, uh, team Slayer was the game I played the most. But yeah. the thing that got my score up, and I think maybe the thing that got me better at the game was Rumble Pit. Mm-hmm. That's because it's so chaotic. Right. Total, and total free for all. It got more chaotic over time because the meta sort of shifted to just spamming grenades, <laughs> especially in Halo Two. Like late, a lot of late into Halo Two, it was like, uh, oh, was I realized that. Uh, I think players realized that they can just get random kills here and there if they just throw grenades into mm-hmm. the into the air, into the ether, and yeah. so uh, just somewhere. Rumble Pit just became run from the grenades. Yeah, just. <laughs> Just a lot of grenades. Just don't get killed well, by grenades. Especially because in Halo 2, you could hold four of each type. Yeah. Four four frags and four And you four usually sticks. started with two, and there were some that were on the and ground that you around. could pick up. And dead bodies had them laying around, yeah. so it's like just insane. 
I actually often, when I would make custom games, I would turn off the thing where you start with grenades so that you have to pick them up mm -hmm. so that you don't just I think that's have more so many. Interesting. Yeah. Because you got to go really, you got to go fight for them, sort of, mm -hmm. <laughs> instead of everyone going for the rocket. Yeah. First thing, they all go for grenades. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's funny, too, because sometimes in, there were some games where the rocket mattered and some where mm -hmm. it totally didn't. Mm -hmm. But I feel like there were always people who just went for it. Yeah. Like, oh, 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 yeah. Because like every like, time. <laughs> if you were in a game full of brand new players, someone went for it just because they're like, that's a powerful weapon and I can kill they someone in good. one shot yeah. with it. So I'm going to try and get it. In higher level play, it's that's a strategic item that our team needs to get a hold of because yeah. it will help us a little. It's but a pawn mostly in the greater it's, war. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it is yeah. a step in the right direction. Yeah, it's a tool that uh, yeah. I just have it and they don't is yeah. really what matters. Yeah, uh, I played a lot of Capture the Flag, but in Halo in especially, it devolved into a Slayer match most yeah. of the time. People most people didn't the care about the flag. I was one of the few that did, and sometimes I could just run and yep. that was cap a, it without was anybody even contesting people me. just ignored the flag. Yeah. <laughs> Insane. Uh, I tended to it got be better later, but, a flag yeah. defender, so I would just camp at the base near the flag and when someone would come near it i would kill them mm -hmm. and i was decent at it yeah, like yeah that's a good i mean that's an important role i think yeah i remember and there was a there was a mode where it was one flag in the center mm -hmm. and whoever grabbed it and brought it back to their base would score and i remember one time i just ran up grabbed it scored ran up grabbed it scored ran just up, kept just, going yeah everybody nobody else tried very hard so yeah, yeah. so funny <laughs> I feel like sometimes you just have games like that, mm -hmm. like where you just just do it and no one cares. It's really weird, yeah. but very fun when you're doing it for sure. Mm -hmm. I think so. Like, I didn't really play much with you at that time because I was still pretty young when you first started playing Halo Two. Yeah, yeah. It, and at, and at first, like, it's funny you transitioned from being a little kid that I could totally beat all the time. Right. And then you got good, yeah, and it's like, oh, I thought, wait, when did this happen? He's getting older and keeps playing it. Now he's getting better. Especially, and I think that especially oh, no. happened in the Halo 3 era. Yeah, that was mostly the Halo 3 In era. Halo 2, yeah. so I got up to, uh, there were 50 levels mm -hmm. in, in the uh, ranked uh, online play. I would consistently, I would get to level 25, and then I would lose like six games in a row and get bumped down to like level 20. <laughs> and it was just a constant. Dang. I would get up to 25 and get bumped back down to like 20, 21, 22. Dang. Just Dang. constantly. I never could break 25. Mm -hmm. Which means like, I mean, I guess that means the system kind of worked. Cause I guess, yeah. Like uh, I, I would guess you probably hover around your actual skill level. Mm -hmm. But yeah. And uh, eventually, once the game had been around for a while, uh, you could tell when you were playing against someone who had gotten to like level fifty or something and was starting a new, because uh, <laughs> they're just a new character, insane. a new uh, account, and because uh, they they yep. they just destroy you, and you're like, I'm pretty you're sure like, this is not a new player. That's not a level one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No way. You had to you had to break into the like the tens before you got into like people that were like, okay, they're not idiots, but they're not great at the game, so you can definitely win. They were fun to beat, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Level tens are fun to play against. Yeah. yeah. I mostly just remember playing like I don't know, like three player, three or four player split screen slayer mm -hmm. with like you and all and, and yeah. people like that so. oh and then there were some fun like player made games uh there oh, was definitely, one yeah. uh they called it chicken run yeah and so you had a bunch of war people in warthogs and they were just running around the map trying to escape from two wraith tanks mm -hmm. and basically their goal the warthog player's goal was to stay alive until the end of the game until mm -hmm. the time ran out if you were a wraith player your goal was to kill all kill the, the warthog warthogs, players yeah. And uh, for the first like minute, uh, the warthogs cannot boost and cannot use their gun. And then for the next few minutes, they Crazy. can boost but can't use their gun. And then at the end, they can use their gun. Uh, I really so loved crazy. playing as the Wraith because yeah. I I was actually fun. pretty good decent at sniping people yeah. with the Wraith tank. You were good just with the like, Wraith, yeah. I could I could I could do that the lobbing yeah. uh, well. You figured out the trajectories. Yeah, like yeah. I felt like the Scorpion was objectively a better tank yeah, but yeah. given the two i would often pick the wraith because i knew i could 
manage it handle yeah. that and it was faster it's interesting yeah the boost is huge on that for sure and ramming people with the boost was actually really oh, effective yeah. so Super. i would do that a lot too well halo was a great splattering game yes <laughs> I mean, just amazing. Warthog and ghosts and stuff, just ramming people down was so awesome. So, there, uh, I'm, go- I'm going to talk about there. Th- there were three moments that stick in my mind as just g- moments of greatness in Halo Two for me in okay. particular. First one was I was playing a game of team swords. Mm-hmm. Everybody had swords and two teams of I think four players each, and I it was the first kill tacular I ever got. Mm-hmm. Which in Halo 2 is four kills in a row, and in Halo 5, uh, Halo 3 is five kills in a row. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, someone on the game accused me of cheating. Amazing. That's always a good feeling. Which, yeah, that always like, feels great. That's right, I, I, I was. I got more kills than the entire enemy team combined, Yep, which was great. That was, you, that was then, your sword day. In the very next game, I was against that same player who con- uh, accused me of cheating. Uh-huh. And I in that game, it was on uh, the, one, the one with the giant wheel in the middle. Zanzibar? Zanzibar, yeah. yeah. And I got, a, uh, I got into a ghost, and I just... I kept killing people in that just, ghost, and people just could not take me out. Take, yeah, I was yeah. too fast and did too much damage. Like that day, you were just yeah. on. That yeah. was just one of those <laughs> d- times when I was just on it. And yep. I, 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 in particular, every time I saw that player, that <laughs> gotta go cheating, for him. I, I went for gotta him. Gotta go for him. <laughs> I'd splatter him. I'd just, get yeah. splattered, bro. It's great. Amazing. Um, and Good then times. one time uh, I was against you and uh, you and Cameron were mm-hmm. on a team against me and at first you guys were just wiping the floor with me mm-hmm. just, i just could not take on two of you at once and you were getting a little better at that point you yeah. were uh, yeah. you were getting a little older a little better um and then there was one point where i just got in the zone somehow mm-hmm. and i was just, just and you neither of you stood massacred. a chance at that point yep. I, 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 it's like a switch flipped in it my just brain happens. and i just yep. was in the zone See, it happens with a lot of games i feel like yeah. there's just a day where you're just or you're laser focused. And you're just mm-hmm. amazing. It's very interesting. Yeah. Happened uh, with Guitar Hero with us a few times yeah. too. Just it's random happened days. With Age of Empires a couple of times where I'll, this will be my fourth attempt at this campaign. And I'm just like, I'm not sure. I'm, uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to beat this. Mm-hmm. I do more or less the same thing I did last time, but with but just, just a couple of small tweaks. Accuracy, and then yeah. uh, all of a sudden, I've got this huge base that hasn't been a, uh, that they haven't been able mm-hmm. to take down. I make these two giant armies, and then or I mean, it's a machine. Yeah. You know, with a mm-hmm. lot of different components, yeah. and when you do it all perfectly, it all works together, and it's just yep. amazing. Yeah, that third mo- that third time was the one time I beat Alla in one v one. Yeah, finally, so our friend Alla was always be- always just better a little than me better. At this game, just not a necessarily better. a lot better, but always well, a little. I feel like in most games, yeah, for some reason he was just a little he was better. Just, yeah, he was just <sighs> he one was of those people good. that's just naturally good at video yeah. games, and he and he was. Uh, uh, and it was kind of a given that he was better than either of us at mm-hmm. the game. But one time we were 1v1 you lockout. Yeah, I remember. I was watching. I remember yeah. that, actually. We were at uh, uh, Alicia's house. Mm-hmm. Uh, Alicia we were. For, yeah. And we were. I just beat him 1v1. And I, that was like the proudest moment yeah. of mine. He's like, all right, cool. Yep. <laughs> He's like, whatever. Yeah. Uh, yep, then, Halo 2 was good. And then the campaign. So the Halo 2 campaign is my favorite campaign. That I remember more so actually than playing multiplayer. Yeah. I feel like was was us playing the campaign a lot cuz yeah. I liked the command the I loved the campaign yeah. also. I remember it took me and Ola tried to beat the first level on legendary. We played that for like Kairos hard on legendary. For like though. 4 hours yeah. or something yeah. just trying to beat this level. I mean I think man. we eventually did beat it, but man. Um I can still quote just about the entire campaign yep. from <laughs> from memory, all the voice acting, all the... Uh, yep, every line. Yeah. yeah. It's true. It and and you do shit. sometimes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I have occasionally busted out. <laughs> <laughs> I know and, you want to, but don't. I'm not going to, But no. don't. <laughs> but so, yes, I believe you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> at one point, when you like suddenly got really good at the game yeah. uh, or yes. it, to me it seemed sudden to no, you it probably yeah, didn't seem no, quite it was so it was yeah there was i played it enough i got the controls i think i was younger and that actually helped because mm-hmm. i sort of developed 
I was developing as I was getting yeah. better. So it was just like ingrained in me all of a sudden. Because I was, I think, I was 15, 16 yeah, when I first started playing. Then. And you yeah. were more like uh, eight, eight, eight or yeah. something. Yeah. So, yeah, that happens. Mm-hmm. So I remember, yeah, being like the campaign became nothing to me. <laughs> yeah. This is too easy. We're like, if we, we got to the point where if you died on normal, you're just a loser. Yeah. Like you died right. on normal? What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. So I feel like we'd play like heroic for fun a lot. Well, I feel like heroic yeah. wasn't too bad. And yeah. then legendary was just ridiculous. So speaking the, of heroic. The, the jump on he- from heroic to legendary and Halo 2 is yeah. insane. The jump from easy to normal is not that big. It's not like very nothing. big at all. Yeah. The jump to, from normal to heroic is pretty oh, significant. Okay. Yeah, you got to be like. And then heroic to legendary is just crazy. It's stupid, yeah. <laughs> but uh, the first time I beat Halo 2 on heroic, mm-hmm. I was at my dad's house. Mm-hmm. And it was I got up at 6 a.m. I started playing, and at noon, I was done. And like, man, awesome. And, and so I just played for that solid six it hours with no breaks, really, except for maybe the occasional bathroom break. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and afterward, I was like, man, I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> man, I'm really hungry. Man, uh, man, I must not have eaten for the last six hours. I've killed Tartarus, but now what? Now yeah. I need a sandwich. Yeah. That's awesome. I feel like I barely remember like the last level. <laughs> Of Halo oh, yeah. Two, I feel like we I never we never like we always started a campaign and then didn't really finish it. As oh often. yeah, well as soon as <laughs> it's a lot of time, you know. We're we're it's like we get through the Master Chief levels and those are fun, and then we're like it's like ugh, the Covenant levels. <laughs> yeah, the, the yeah the they're not of, bad. The levels of the Arbiter are just not as just not fun as to play, I think. And then you get to Delta Halo and you're back to being the Chief yeah, again. And Delta Halo is really awesome. Yeah. And after Delta Halo, it's like uh, all kind of downhill from there. Yeah. So. Yeah, I actually like the last, the last uh, Arbiter level are, is kind so of fun dark. though. <laughs> the last few levels are just so dark. Yeah, <laughs> it's so hard to see. <laughs> the last Arbiter level when you're trying to uh, beat all the brutes and stop yeah. Tartarus. That's that actually pretty, pretty cool. fun. That's pretty cool. Uh, the the flood levels tend to be the least fun in any Halo game, I think. So uh-huh. I feel like they're so long too. Yeah. Like I feel like that just, first Arbiter level, that they're first Arbiter grueling. level with the flood is so long. Mm-hmm. I feel like that takes like four hours sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't know why. Well, it's especially because like we we know how to really blast and skip through the first few levels. Yeah, but so you, then you, you get to the first can't. level where you can't. Yeah. And you're really stuck on like the elevator longer. and locked doors and stuff. And yeah. Yeah, it's a very, it's sort of a cutscene yeah. based uh, level. Like yeah. you got to really follow the, the rails on it. Oh, we should talk about the second level, outskirts or whatever. Yeah. What's it called? I don't remember. Where we just like we jump on the, the thing. Uh, ac- across the rooftops, yep. skipping you figure, you half figure the out level. The, the like the skull route, basically. Mm-hmm. And you got to nail that that grenade jump on the bridge. Yep. Don't fall in between because you're screwed. And then, yeah. although it's kind of I interesting loved, to explore that area that. because it's all mm-hmm. this like un, undeveloped. Yep. Yep. That has the best. That has some of the easiest like out of bounds stuff. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we loved doing that. That was so fun. There was a group that I would play with sometimes where uh, we just. Uh, we're like a glitch group and we were just mm-hmm. like trying to get out of bounds and stuff and so we would just play multiplayer games with over shield and rockets mm-hmm. and oh yeah figuring out all the rocket yeah, jumps and stuff getting on the top of uh, maps mm-hmm. where, and just like looking down at the whole map there were there were ones where like you had to get a wraith tank to like push you up this wall mm-hmm. <laughs> oh like remember the, like the soccer ball yeah getting that on that level that was fun oh and the scarab gun that's great yeah i actually got that I got that on my own one time. I I was really. I always I, got really close, but it there's took just me, some really tricky jumps I that I just could not. Yeah, get. Well, like right near the end, like the last big jump, you have to like be on that box perfectly, and like yeah. it's it's insane. I remember I did it, but it took like a few hours for sure of just like doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Ugh, terrible. Oh, we. Sh- uh, so we we have a sort of tradition where we just play Halo for for during the holiday season. Yeah, so we should totally do the all skulls on. We should Legendary. do la- like lasso. Yeah, you know, lasso. lasso. Yeah. Oh, that'd be awesome. Uh huh. That'd be good. Um, so yeah, we do. I started it's probably around that time when we were just into Halo, but like uh, we would always have Christmas at our grandparents' house, mm. and so we would just take like a mini a little TV. 
and the Xbox yep. and everything and hook it up on there and just like lay on the floor and play Halo yeah. during like during Christmas. We play Halo stuff. or Guitar Hero or Mech Assault. Mm-hmm. Or, yeah. Yep. Played a lot of played a lot of Xbox during Christmas. Mm-hmm. And here it's almost middle of November now as we're recording this. So yep. yeah, we gotta we gotta play some Halo pretty soon. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we're really trying to keep that alive because that's just fun. Yeah. You know? And I never and we don't really play Halo much anymore. But anyway, that's Halo two. Yeah. Gotta talk about Halo three. Yeah. Because that's the one I played mostly. <laughs> yeah. That's the one I really know. I really did not like the Halo three campaign as much. No, not as much. Yeah. And I think I don't I don't but know I, if maybe this it. is just a a whole. I don't have nostalgia for this. It's too different. I want the yeah, same again. Because I mean, I, I know a lot of people are like that with video games. And like, you can't ever please anybody because because uh, the new game is just is mm-hmm. different. But if it's exactly the same, then everybody's going to complain that it's exactly the same. So, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like they really honed in the multiplayer in Halo 3. Yeah, they, re- they really did. I thought it was just, I don't know. That's just sort of felt like my game. Like even now, I feel like Halo Two feels like your game, and Halo Three feels like my game. Yeah, because that's that's what I. I mean, there was a few years of just of playing a lot of Xbox Live on that for me. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's where I actually got good at Halo. Yeah, was just Halo Three multiplayer constantly, yeah. <laughs> all the time, just Team Slayer mostly. Yeah, just getting to know the maps and. I don't know, getting all the achievements. Yeah, we, 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 did, we spent a lot of time getting achievements. We both did all the achievements, I think, because we both had the katana, didn't we? <sighs> yeah, I did. I did eventually get I the. Think you got the katana. Yeah, I think I eventually did. Yeah, I think um, I got. Uh, honestly, I think I had some help from Allah, probably. Yeah. Because uh, I don't. I I think there were just a few that were just too hard yeah. for me to get. That was own. a big achievement to me. I yeah. got. I got both the. Um, I got the katana and the recon armor. Yeah. The recon helmet. I did get so the was, Hayabusa very, armor on my own. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. I loved the Hayabusa because you had with the katana. So that just looked yeah. awesome. Yeah. Um, That's I, actually, I wanted to talk about the, the outfits a little bit. Yeah. The, the armor sets on there. Because, yeah, I was all about that. I was, so I I did the, um, I did the Hay- Hayabusa for, for a while. And mm-hmm. then I did, um. A couple different ones, but I I played against someone who was just in just straight uh, the plain Mark Six gear, but with the Mark Five helmet. Yeah, looks and looks I was great. like, oh, okay, that actually looks pretty cool. So mm-hmm. then my my outfit became uh, Mark Five helmet, Mark Six outfit, but with the uh, chest piece of the Hayabusa for the sword. Yeah, very cool. And that was that yeah, was my that was your go to. Yeah. yeah, I I changed it up constantly just because I loved different the different outfits that was one of the that and fable were the games where i like found out that i really like collecting like clothes and outfits and armor and games and i'm still like that if there's stuff like that i collect like one of everything basically Mm -hmm. and so in halo i think scout was a big one for me yeah the scout helmet i think i did that most of the time um and i liked the i don't remember which one it was but had like it was more like tactical looking and i had the little knife oh on yeah the front, um that the, chest piece yeah the the like i want to say uh, emt but i don't think that's it. eva no. maybe was that the eva oh one? it might have been the eva there was also the uh um the like bomber yeah guys like the oh, I wish heavy I the ordinance but i don't remember yeah yeah anyway. it was like eob or something yeah it was like eob or something odb yeah something like that some sort <laughs> something of, like that some, some acronym sort of acronym but i liked that a lot and I liked, um, I didn't like the scout shoulder pads because they were uh-huh. so bulky, but I liked sometimes I wore Hayabusa, sometimes EVA, just whatever. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I liked the scout helmet a lot, but I, I rocked EVA sometimes too. Mm-hmm. The like full, just like, you yeah, know, that, visor, like gold, like, the full yeah. gold visor head, you know, yeah. uh, I thought that was cool. But yeah, I loved just, I loved, you know, <laughs> changing up the different outfits and colors and stuff. Um, speaking of stories though. Um, one of my favorite stories is when I got the uh, kill atrocity achievement. Is that oh the, yeah, is that the I one? remember the six. Yeah, uh, the six in a row. Yep, I uh, remember when you did that. Yeah, so we were on um, not isolation. The one like on the beach with like the gate. Mm. 
And it was very like red and rocky. High, high something. Oh, yeah, I, I know what you're talking about, but I don't remember I don't the remember name at all. It. Dang it, it's been too It's been long. a long time. Oh, okay, anyway, it was that level. High, I want to say like high impact, but I don't think that's what it's called <laughs> for impact. some reason. Um, anyway, great level. Had the big gate, a lot of like red rock mm-hmm. and stuff. And there was like a base behind the gate. Um, I was like off the beach. So it was that level and I had a shotgun. Mm-hmm. which I got very good with in Halo 3. The shotgun was your that weapon was my in Halo weapon. 3, I think. Like, if I got the shotgun, everyone is dead. Mm-hmm. Like, I knew, I just knew the perfect distances. I could do, like, the shot, you know, quick melee thing yeah. really easily. Which, that yeah. always annoyed just me because I was bad with the shotgun. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I feel, I feel like I understand this weapon, and yet it doesn't seem to mm-hmm. work. And but I don't know why. you the sword guy. Yeah. So, I mean, we both had sort of our close range weapons. Although I did bull true you a lot. Yes. <laughs> or you're in mid lunge and I just pop your head off. So. Uh, <laughs> after a certain point, I'm like, I cannot ever let him get the yeah, shotgun. Forget it. You can't, can't let it happen. So um, I was on, it was just Team Slayer. So 4v4. Okay. So to get six kills in a row, you have to kill four people, which is how many people are on the team. Have two of them respawn and kill at least two more of them. Yes. Uh, like within four seconds of each kill. And I'm just, I'm in like the base uh, up on the second floor. I turn the corner and they're just lined up on the stairs and I'm holding the shotgun (laughs) and I just pop, pop, pop. And then they kept coming around, like apparently to respawn because they just kept coming and I just kept shooting. It was just like, Like I'm like, I can't believe this is happening. Like shooting fish in a barrel. Yeah, I easily (laughs) killed. I think I got seven actually. Yeah. If I remember correctly, it was seven. But the seventh just wasn't within right. four seconds, so right. I just didn't give you. So I, and I just like I think I like was shaking, so I had to put yeah. my controller down or something. <laughs> I was like, I can't believe that just happened. That was yeah. the coolest thing ever. Yeah, that's higher than any that I ever got. I don't so think I got ridiculous. more than four in in one go. So ridiculous. So, so that's one of my favorite stories. Um, I think I got, you know, like nine one time but i think that was just on like griff ball or something oh, yeah. like a game where it's easy to get those yeah. so it wasn't didn't really count to get the but. achievement for getting a killioner or whatever uh yeah i just yeah. i just had a, a map where i knew where a spawn point was for another player and mm-hmm. i just had a a per a, a I set up a second player, but yeah, there second wasn't controller. anybody there. And yeah. then I just like melee them it. as, as they re- yeah. respond. Yep. That's how, how I That's how that. you do it. That's how you got to do it sometimes. But. Oh, man. Yeah. If you, Great. I've, some I've of, seen some fun people get there. double kills with a single sniper bullet. Those are yes. crazy. I don't know if I did that. I think I, I feel like I did that. But mm-hmm. I don't remember that. I don't remember 100%. I think I might have done that with the battle rifle in SWAT. Yeah. No, that's that's definitely possible. People with no shields. It yeah. is so cool to do mm-hmm. that. Yeah, that Halo Three is when I realized SWAT was my game too. Yeah. Cause like I was good with the shotgun and everything, but the yeah, I got very good at headshotting as well. That was really fun. I loved I loved playing SWAT. So you remember the montages we would watch? The yes. Halo the Halo montages where, yes, I do. Uh, where it was high level players just yep. Uh, just being amazing. Just doing like a highlight reel of some of their craziest kills. Yep. Uh, I attempted to do one. That was one of the first videos I uploaded to my YouTube channel. Yep. Um, it is no longer there because it was not actually good. And uh, <laughs> I should not make videos. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah. Right, uh, here we are. It did include. We can do audio though. Yeah. Um, it, also, part of the part, yeah. part of the problem was uh, I used copyrighted music because so did everybody. Right. But uh, right. par- the the um, they didn't like that. The algorithm gods were like, no, no, <laughs> not you. What songs did you play? I don't remember. Uh, the first time it was uh, s- stricken by oh, Disturbed, nice. and nice. then after that it was um, very cool. <laughs> uh, Frontline by Pillar. Oh, nice. Yeah. Which that was kind of my jam for a while. That yeah. was like my song also for a while. Like there. Your songs, yeah. Yep, that's awesome. But yeah, yeah. We, we watched that one a lot. That one in particular. Yeah, the Furion and Fluxy. Furion and Fluxy. Yeah. So shout out to Furion Which, and Fluxy. That's the song that got me into... I don't know if they exist anymore, in, but... That's the video that got me into the song... Um, yeah, Holding On, Holding right? On by yeah. Scary Kids, Scaring Scary Kids, Kids. Which... Good song. Ripped their guitar player. He was so good. Yeah, he was amazing. That's a shame. Also, uh, Bones. Bones, yeah. Mm-hmm. What was that? City, City Sleeps? City Sleeps, yeah. Yeah, very cool song. Yeah. Good stuff, man. 
Yeah, I remember I got this really cool shot in like the theater mode. Oh, yeah. I still have the picture somewhere. It's like uh, it was on the pit and I was it was in my I was like in my classic outfit, you know, with the scout helmet and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I had the shotgun and like there happened to be like smoke in the room. Oh, I just yeah. got this like really cool shot of my character. Oh, I still you, have that picture. You, you know that picture I've got that was my background forever. Yeah. Yep. That uh, like sometimes you just got the perfect camera angle yep, because it just looked awesome. A lot yeah. of times you would try to get that in it. You, you just couldn't. You you would mm -hmm. spend minutes staging it and you just couldn't get it. And then sometimes you would just got the perfect shot. It just happened. You yeah. would take it and yeah. I might try to add that add those pictures to the the YouTube version of this podcast. If I can if find I can think mine, about it. I'll, I'll, I'll send it to think you about so it, you yeah. can add that one as If well. I remember. So you, yeah, you may have just remember. seen that. <laughs> um, yeah, but Halo 3 was definitely the game. I'm trying to think of that one map. Uh, there's so many. <laughs> yeah. I can't think of any of them. You're, so you remember the, but, the huge one in uh, Halo 3 that uh, mm -hmm. it's the first... Which one? The ice one? No. Um... The non ice one, the non ice big one, uh, <laughs> with lots big, of grass and two huge one. bases and a river in the middle. Valhalla. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, one of the best maps in the game. Uh -huh. That was such a good map. Yeah. Like it was big, but not like too big, so it was fine for Team Slayer, but also fine for big team battle. Yeah. yeah great. It was map. kind of like Halo 3's coagulation, even though yeah. they eventually did yeah. have coagulation. I think again, mm -hmm. or Blood Gulch, as yeah. a lot of people originally uh, Blood think Gulch, of it. Yeah. Just thanks, like thanks Battle Creek, Beaver Creek. Thanks to Red versus Blue. We right. all know it as Blood Gulch. Yes. Uh, let's talk about Red versus Blue. Like, Dude, I mean, that's such I a loved, big part of yeah. our, our comedy and our yeah. like Halo So obviously lives. you're really big into Rooster still, Teeth. Still I, a huge I, Rooster I've Teeth I've never fan. really been yeah. that big into their stuff except for Red versus yeah. Blue. Well, until Ruby. I actually really like yeah, Ruby. Yeah, Ruby's really good. But, but. Um, yeah, and I think when I first saw it, it was pretty new. Oh, yeah. Um, and I, I think I watched it on Newgrounds. Even. It was still in Blood Gold Chronicles, right? Yeah. Like it wasn't. Yeah. I mean, I think the first season was either over or near over when I first watched it. Because mm -hmm. uh, this was probably either late 2003 or early 2004 mm -hmm. when I, th I think when I first watched it. But yeah, that was hilarious. So good. Yeah. It was one of our, it's kind of what. It's one of the things that got us into, you know, internet funny videos and stuff. Yeah. It was such a great time in, in internet comedy. Yeah, you also so, had Homestar Runner around Homestar the same Runner time. Homestar Runner was huge for us, yeah. I think, yeah, that's what got me into the internet was those two things, mm -hmm. even though I was pretty young still, but yeah. very fond memories of these of Newgrounds flash videos and stuff. I spent a lot of time on the Bungie forums mm -hmm. uh, in around 2005. Man, uh, how good was Bungie.net? Back yeah. in the Halo 2 and Halo 3 days, uh -huh. where you could oh, like dude, check your... When you could check uh, your service love, record love and that. see all your kills and stuff. Great And your data. heat maps. <laughs> heat maps for, for levels. You had entire, you know, kills and deaths. You had every medal you've ever gotten. Yeah. Like, it logged everything. That was so cool. That was awesome. Yeah, I loved checking that. And they kind of sort of have it with 343, but of course yeah. they didn't port over everything, so... Yeah. Uh, that would have been, dude. That would have been crazy. That would have been if you could insane steal if they had your, actually been able to port all data. of that over. Yeah, because that's stuff from like 2005. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's been it a while. Good stuff. Um, yeah, I I remember I would I would post on the Bungie.net forums like every day. I would check it every day, that's and awesome. I would post somewhere every every day, and like I would be wanting to wait to get home to go be on the forum. I was out. big into yeah. forums at the time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it started. All, it it all started with Gaia Online, too, and uh, nerd. I would never go on Gaia Online. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's that? I went on way more than you do. Oh, yeah. okay, gotcha. Uh -huh. Anyway, yeah, I might go into that someday on the on yeah. the podcast, but but yeah, I was today. I was big into forums. Uh, it, it, it really it all started with the whole Zoid. Uh, oh yeah, RPGs. Yeah. Um, oh, we love Zoids. Yeah, we might talk about Zoids another time too. Yeah, Zoids is awesome. Mm -hmm. Throw that out there. We were not Transformers kids. We're Zoids kids. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was into Transformers I mean, when yeah. I was very little, sure. but uh, not for not for long because it, it, I don't know. It wasn't one of the shows I got into a lot when. I, oh, I was big into Beast Wars. Yeah, that's true. We did like Beast, Beast Wars, Wars Transformers. Uh, and we had that Beast Wars Transmetals game for, mm -hmm. I think, N64. N64. Yeah. Great game. <laughs> Very cool game. That was one of the few, like, fighting games I played. Yeah. I think. That and Bloody Roar 2. 
Like yeah, the well, only fighting I think at that played. point we had only ever even played Smash and Bloody Roar 2, so right, this right. was only like the third fighting game I'd ever played. So I've said before, I'm not a fighting game person. Yeah, <laughs> that is either. the least of my talents. Especially like traditional arcade style oh gosh, fighting I'm, games. I'm, I'm horrible at those. like Street Fighter. I'm, yeah, Street Fighter, so Tekken. so bad. Those kinds of games, yeah. ridiculous how bad I am. But anyway... I'm yeah. good at shooters and platformers, so yeah. whatever. <laughs> I remember when you when you beat Halo, the last level of Halo Three on Legendary. Yes, and yeah. I, I was did, like, I did single handedly. How, how did you do that? <laughs> yeah, single handedly beat. That was so fun too. I yeah. love the um, uh, uh, the warthog the warthog bit oh, at yeah. the end of Halo Three is so good. I still <laughs> love love doing that. Yeah. I like that so like it was a it was a call out obviously to Halo One because you do mm-hmm. that in Halo One and uh but it's it's so nerve wracking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just the, the whole world is falling apart just around you and exploding. you just need to drive, drive, drive. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, another weird Halo three story. Mm-hmm. Um I remember I was hanging out with Allah mm-hmm. and he was playing online with some friends because he was trying to get the achievement where you do that part of the level, mm-hmm. but you do the ghost, you use the ghosts that oh, are like yeah. hidden under the stairs, and you have to do it with four players, I think. Right, right. Yeah. yeah that, oh, I remember that. That yeah. was crazy so that to was try and pull off because. Not easy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because. Just trying to get four people to do it to together it was hard thing. enough. Yeah. Let ridiculous. alone actually beat it. And it was harder in the ghost than you would think, mm-hmm. even though it can boost and stuff. Yeah. It was a weird, weird thing. So I was watching him play online with his friends, mm-hmm. getting through that. And I remember it so vividly because that was the day Michael Jackson died. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. And so, like, if if anybody asked me, where were you when Michael Jackson died? I know exactly where I was. I was yeah. watching all of play uh, the last level of Halo 3. Uh, because, like, one of his friends <laughs> said it over, the, like, the speaker. He's like, what? Are you serious? And then we, like, I think we, like, went on the computer because we didn't have smartphones. Right. And looked it up. I was like, yep, okay, well, that's insane. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I remember that. That's so I remember bizarre. that day very vividly. <laughs> very strange. And like, I now remember, yep. which I wouldn't ever, I didn't remember five seconds ago, but now that you've told yep, me, totally. I totally remember that. That's crazy. So, so interesting. Anyway, Halo is awesome. Yeah. And that really shaped sort of um, me really getting into video games because I played that so much. You know, we both played online so much. Yeah. And I've never really played an online game like that since. We never got into Call of Duty, really, uh, even when, like, Modern Warfare 2 got huge. Yeah, other than World of Warcraft, right. which uh, right. I think I'm going to talk lot. about in an episode yeah, soon, we will, um, we will, my whole sure. history with that. But uh, other than World of Warcraft, Halo is really the only yeah, game I was the played online, online for any significant period of time. Yep, that was just our thing. But it was good. It was a good time. I tried to get a, a friend of my, a, a, my friend Ben really tried to get me into Team Fortress 2, and I just could not yeah, ever get yeah. a hold, of, uh, get a hang of it. It's so weird for me to, mm-hmm. uh, I never different. could get a, get a hang of the, and like, I'm already pretty bad at keyboard and mouse yeah. for, uh, at, it's at a, PS, which it's a big change from a controller. Most people say it's like way better mm-hmm. and, don't understand it when i say that that it's actually harder for me but it's just it seems it feels so unintuitive Mm -hmm. it's very foreign if all you know is controller for Mm -hmm. sure i think that's just true yeah Yeah, it's sort of like how overwatch is now i mean team fortress 2 was really big yeah like um especially like when it, it went free to play yeah and then it just got ridiculously huge yeah um I think I think that was actually what Blizzard's intent was was like they were trying to make Team Fortress Two basically with yeah. Overwatch, which I didn't ever th- when Overwatch came out I didn't think it was going to take off at all. Oh yeah, <laughs> honestly, I'm like, but I was wrong. Yeah, um, I've never actually played Overwatch. Ever. Yeah, do you say it's free to play now? Uh, no. When when Team Fortress Two went free to oh, play. Oh yeah, I don't. Yeah, think, that was a long. Uh, is uh, Overwatch uh, free uh, to play? I don't know. It might I don't be. think it is, but uh, yeah. I don't know. I I uh, I bought it. At one point, mm-hmm. and then it turned, and then it. I found out it wouldn't play on my computer, and so I, <laughs> I got a refund. Oh, that's because I couldn't play on the old Nvidia GTS 250. Yeah. I might be able to play now that I've got a 1650. No. But, uh, you don't have a 3080, really? That's... No, no, I do not. Oh, interesting. I feel like 
I feel like putting a 3080 into a 10 year old motherboard would be a crime that, against that humanity. Is a, yeah, I think that's kind of would would offend a lot of people. <laughs> Oh, but it'd be funny. I'm going to run this 3080 with this 10-year-old Linfield i5 processor. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah. I have an old, I have a seven-year-old Intel i5. Is Will that work? Yeah. Mine's 10 years old. So. Okay. okay. Well, there you go. Um, I don't know. Do you have anything else to say about Halo? How you didn't really like Halo 4? <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I, I, I think I mentioned before that I didn't really, uh, th- my disappointment with Halo 5, I mentioned oh, in definitely. another episode. And yeah, just every new Halo game uh, has just been, I've liked less and less, <laughs> it seems. Uh, I, I I just don't like 343 Studios' version of Halo as much as yeah. Bungie's, I don't think. And I understand that 343 has some of the original people, mm-hmm. uh, but I don't know. Just not Different enough. Different enough. You didn't really care for it. I mean, I already didn't like a, uh, some of Halo 3 as much as Halo 2, just like right. the look and feel of the game. And I feel like it got even further from that mm-hmm. as you went further down the it's line. True. I liked... Halo 3 ODST was interesting because uh, just the whole playing as a playing as an ODST. Although I, I thought felt, it was really cool. I, I felt like campaign campaign you were too powerful. Oh, yeah. Like an Too ODST good. should not be able to compete with stuff that a Spartan can, because like, sure, yeah. I mean, you did. I think you did feel weaker. You definitely felt weaker though. Than yeah, Master Chief. but like, I don't know. There were times where I would like melee a brute to death, and I'm like, okay, I should not be able to do this. <laughs> <laughs> this ODST is amazing. It's a good marine. Yeah. Um, I thought it was a really cool game though. Yeah, the tone was def- definitely different. Yeah. Uh, which I, I do remember cool. like the first time a hunter showed up and you're just like, well, I'm, I'm it. screwed. I'm, I'm w- just it's, dead. it's the end of the world. Yeah. Uh-huh. Whereas that is pretty cool. at, at, when you're a uh, master chief, you're just like, oh, you, just you play with it him a on the bit. head a couple <laughs> times with the pistol and he dies. <laughs> uh, yep. That was that was a fun trick in Halo unless, 1. Unless it's lasso. Then you pee your pants every time you right, see right. anything. It, I just remember in Halo 1, I would just go over and just like melee them with the pistol on their head and eventually they would die. Like, I don't know why this works, but Amazing. okay. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, if For anyone listening who doesn't know what lasso is, I, we should probably explain what lasso is. Uh, so that's legendary, obviously. Hardest difficulty in the game. And then all skulls on. And let's talk about skulls in Halo a little bit. Yeah, so like... Y- What's y- a skull, Brian? You have some that seem to make the game easier and some that seem to make it much harder. Mm-hmm. Uh, like there's one that makes uh, melee and explosions more powerful. Mm-hmm. Yes. So uh, you can you can hit objects called, a lot harder. Um, and that, that one we actually got often because of how much easier it made some parts of the campaign. Mm-hmm. Um, but grenades were nuts. Yeah. There, there's the skull that makes enemies throw like 10 times more grenades. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely insane. There's famine, which means less ammo. Yes. Ugh. In all of the Ridiculous. things you pick up. There's blind, which gets rid of your HUD. Which, which is awful. That's probably the worst it's for me. It's so much worse than you think it's going to be. Mm-hmm. You have no crosshair for your weapons. You don't even know what weapon you're holding. Yeah. <laughs> or how much ammo it has. I mean, I think you can tell some of the plasma uh, weapons because of how they glow, but that's it. Yeah, but that's about it. Like, you can tell if you have a sword because the afterglow is still there. Yeah. Of the sword, but yeah. Very strange. Very crazy. So, the skulls were like uh, hidden collectibles throughout the campaign. Mm-hmm. Each level had their own like hidden spot for it. Uh, and I think on at least on one of the games, you had to be on legendary to find the skulls, or something like I that. I think you had to be on at least ter- heroic, Maybe at but least I don't heroic, remember. Yeah. Um, um, also, yeah. in Halo Two, you just had to go to the level that had it, find it, and then it would turn on. Mm-hmm. Whereas in Halo Three, I think if you found it, you could un- you could just turn it off, on toggle off. it on or, yeah. or off. Yep. So playing with all skulls on makes the game way harder. Mm-hmm. And um, if you're on uh, legendary, uh, this sort of, I think this happens anyway. But if you're if one of your opponent like teammates dies, you go back to the last checkpoint. Oh yeah, and there's a school that does that on every difficulty. Yeah, which is insane. <laughs> but I think on legendary, it just does that anyway. Yeah. So uh, the most fun one is though is the grunt birthday party. <laughs> yeah. Where uh, if you uh, headshot a grunt, which always kills them in one hit. Uh, a bunch of confetti pours out and it goes yay like a happy (laughs) yay sound effect that's the fun that's the fun one oh that that (laughs) reminds me the the first time i played heroic a couple of times with ala on halo 2 we would do a thing where one of us would sit back 
in another room yeah, and the other hide. one would just go into the next room and just kill as many enemies as they could mm-hmm. and then die and respawn so you could and then go and do it again. <laughs> yeah. That was definitely called, a good yeah. a good tactic. We called them assaults. Like, <laughs> nice. all right, you're you're gonna, gonna start going go on assaults, and I'm just gonna s- nice. sit back here and not die. And just <laughs> yeah, let you respond. Yeah, absolutely crazy. So yeah, we should try a lasso. That'd be fun. Yeah. That would be fun. Be cool to stream it, but I don't think we have the hardware have to pull that off yet. right now. We we are planning uh you know, as we grow here, hopefully. And maybe get at least one comment on something. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be nice. Um, you know, someday we would like to just stream on Twitch every once in a while. You know, start doing video on the podcast. Just kind of switch it up and grow mm-hmm. a little bit. Um, that'll be really fun. We're uh, I'm currently painting uh, our bedroom, which is awesome. Because then after that, we're gonna I'm gonna paint the game room. Mm. And then we can start to decorate that and sort of make that our recording place. So that'll be really cool. Uh, so that's kind of the plan at the moment. But uh, there you go. That's yeah, I think I think that'll be fun when we can do that. Yeah, kind of change it up and make it make everything a little more cool. So there you go. Oh, I'm stretching. <laughs> I'm hungry, dude. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten like anything today. Oh wow. Oh yeah. I've. I've kind of eaten eaten a lot of uh, I've kind of eaten a lot, but I'm actually still a little hungry. Yeah. But uh, yeah. it's a weird week. My wife and I are off this week, mm-hmm. so we're kind of just working on the house and chilling for once because <laughs> we're busy most of the time. So there you go. Yep. I guess that's a podcast. I guess so. Yeah, we're going over an hour. Yep, we did it. Halo's fun. We like Halo. Yep. That was definitely a big part of our gaming history. Yep. We talked about this off off uh, recording a little bit, but like this podcast is just sort of now a record for us. Yeah. It's like we're leaving a record of our, you know, gaming adventures. So whether you listen to it or not, thank you. <laughs> but mm. we love if you'd listen to it. Yeah. But really, it's just for us. So, you know, whatever. <sighs> well, with that... You want to tell the listeners where they can get a hold of us and oh, all that kind of stuff? Oh, you know, you can go to that there Twitter uh, and go go check out our new at, uh, our new new handle on Twitter. Uh, I think I mentioned it last week, mm-hmm. but the Game G Pod, the Game G Pod, uh, Brothers, the G-Pod? Brothers G Pod, yeah, the That's Brothers right. G Pod. That's yeah. better. That makes not sense. the Game G Pod. <laughs> That'd be weird. That'd yep. be just Game Game Pod. Game, game That's pod. not what this is called. It's the Brothers G Pod on Twitter. Go check it out. There's a link in the description if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, go go interact with us on Twitter. Uh, go ahead and download the podcast if you're on a podcast platform. That would be amazing. And uh, thank you guys for listening. Really cool. Yeah. Brian, any final words? Um, Halo good. Halo good. <laughs> There you go. There you go. All right. Bye-bye, everybody.